Hi, my name's Nick Kafka. Uh, I work for Teach a Man to Fish. We're based in the UK, but we work in developing countries all around the world. Probably best to tell you a story. Take one of our students, Mary. Her mother just died two years ago of an AIDS-related illness. At 15, she's now head of the household looking after her two younger sisters. They have a small patch of land, and it's hard just to get by. She'd love to go to school and get an education, but she can't pay the fees. They can't produce a surplus that's capable of that. If she was lucky, she might be able to get some kind of scholarship and go to school. But even if she did, the chances are it wouldn't prepare her for jobs which don't exist. So six years later, she'd be back where she came from, still struggling at hard to find it, still struggling to find the produce the food to feed her family from her small patch of land. Mary's story is not unique. There are 231 million young people around the world in a similar position. They can't get an education because they don't have the money, and even when they do, it doesn't give them the skills needed to pull themselves out of poverty. Teach a Man to Fish is working with young people from around the developing world to give them the skills needed to escape poverty. We do this through providing them an education, but a very different kind of education. An education that gives them practical skills, like teaching them water harvesting and composting so they can increase the yields from their small patches of land. We give them business skills so they know that if they store their products the right way, they can increase their profit margins and produce more money. What's really unique is that we do this through school businesses. Businesses run and owned by the school, which provide a platform for learning and income for the school. So what this means is the students get a real experience of how to make money, not just being taught something on a blackboard. And the schools get an income stream that they can use over time to pay for the teachers, the facilities, and eventually the whole school, meaning fees aren't necessary any longer. I'd always been interested in kind of poverty and the issues of developing countries, but um, it really struck me when I kind of was thinking about moving from banking into doing microfinance that uh, in the first place I went to do this, which was in Paraguay, they just started working on this model of a school that could maybe pay for itself and that way they wouldn't have to put in money year after year, but the students would get a completely transformative education. And kind of when I saw that model, a light bulb went off and I thought this is just something that's way too good to just be stuck out in one country that very few people will ever visit. It needs to be something that's done around the world uh, and done on a much, much larger scale. And here I am today. I mean, I think the GSBI program is, is a really useful space for, for people to reflect on that work and to think about how they can push it further. And for me, that's meant thinking that it's not just about us creating more schools ourselves, but more about us really creating a product, a really good school in a box that can be replicated by anyone. So rather than us creating 50 schools ourselves and thinking that's an achievement, we can allow other people to create thousands of schools using our methodology, and that really will be an achievement. They can visit our website, which is www.teachamantofish.org.uk. Thank you, Nick.